What's up everyone, Dave with Kato Productions here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted something, but uh, I have been looking at some videos about DistroKid versus CD Baby and that whole jazz, uh, but something that I've never heard anybody mention, and this might affect you. Uh, so uh, I use DistroKid um, a lot. Uh, well, I shouldn't, but this year, since I've been releasing music, I've been using DistroKid, and it's been really great. It's easy. The form is really simple. Versus CD Baby, the form is really complex. Uh, it's really, uh, it's not that intuitive um, or self-explanatory. All the all those steps you need to do in CD Baby. And with DistroKid, it's really simple. It's like, what's the name of your song? Where's your artwork? Is there anybody else? The music? And I mean, that's pretty much it. There's a couple checkboxes here or there. But it, I mean, I could go through my catalog in like, you know, 30 minutes. Because it's not that big, but it's that simple. Where it might take me... 15 minutes to do one song with CD Baby, okay? So that's kind of my experience. I'm pretty sure uh, everyone will agree that, you know, one is way easier and way cheaper than the other one is. But uh, that's not my point. Uh, my point is that uh, what might look really nice, uh, there's always something that uh, under the surface might be not so good. Uh, case in point, uh, there was a release I was um, I did uh, I was trying to do with DistroKid, and uh, I had hired a couple of um, in my area here, uh, Hayward, California, in the Bay Area. Um, I hired a couple of artists that are well known in this area. You know, they're old like me or whatever, but um, they're well known for what they've done in the industry and are probably still doing, right? Anyway, I hired them to do, um, you know, to contribute to this uh, project, to this song. And, you know, in the course of entering all the information, you know, just like you would think, which I've done for other artists before like my clients and my friends right featured artists so and so blah 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 anyway i got an email from distro kid hey we have a problem with your uh thing anyway let me show you here what i got okay so uh as you can see they said uh we've been notified that a featured artist listed in this release may already be in use by a relatively established artist like what does that mean so they need to do and these are the artists you can go look them up um you know they're you know street guys just you know they got their legends right for here uh anyway this is what they say to verify the featured artist for this release please do one of the following if the featured artist uses twitter have them send a direct message to DistroKid. mention the song or the upc blah 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 or a photo of the features artist license or passport feel free to block out personal home blah like are you kidding me um so obviously i'm not really happy about that um you know it uh, okay so let me back up a little bit you know these guys they're hard to reach right um it was hard enough to uh, get them and book them and get the whole thing set up and get the stuff that I, you know, that I wanted to go back and ask them to do more stuff is just, it's out of the question. I mean, uh, it's just out of the question. Um, not that I didn't try, but it didn't work. So, uh, it really hung up my release. Uh, the date, I don't know if you saw, but that was the end of March. I didn't get this song out until sometime in May. Uh, and, what happened was I ended up going into uh, my CD Baby account and releasing the song through CD Baby. Now, it cost me, you know, what, $35 or whatever to release the song and, you know, with all the accoutrements that come with it. But, you know, I spent that money, but, and I went through that very long process. But in entering in these featured artists, um, mind you, there are three featured artists on this song, and it was only those two that, you know, DistroKid had the issue with. Anyway, entering in that information with CD Baby, it 
uh, it pulled up their um, you know ASCAP or BMI. Boom! Select, select, confirm, wham, and then it just went through and it, and it was released. No questions asked. No funny emails. No literally jumping through hoops. Did you see what they asked me to do? I mean, I think that's just kind of weird. So uh, the point is, uh, which one is better? Well, I think you really need both. I think you need to use whatever's going to get your stuff released uh, in the least complex way. Sometimes that means it costs more money, right? And it might take a little more paperwork, um, but you might not have to jump through some other hoops. Or sometimes it might mean, you know, paying a yearly fee and, you know, going through, you know, another process. Uh, but this is something I haven't heard anybody go through. If you've gone through something like this, put it in the comments. You know, let's see what other people are going through um, with DistroKid um, or CD Baby. Maybe you've had something to go through, uh, some issue with CD Baby. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for today. And uh, like and subscribe and all of that. And I'll check you out on the next one.